Hi Alphas! Welcome back to my YouTube channel. It is Kalei. Today I'm going to be doing a first look review on a brand new foundation that just launched. It's a 4-in-1 foundation from Pure Cosmetics. They are going back to their roots and they created this foundation. Supposedly, it's really, really good for your skin. It has agave in it. It has energy complex in it. So I'm really excited to try it. I have it on right now and I really like it so far. I did my contour, I did my concealer, and I also did my foundation using just this foundation i did do a demo applying it to let you guys see how it is and i'm filming this in natural light so hopefully the sun likes me right now and allows me to do it without going in and out without further ado i hope you enjoy this demo slash first look and i will catch you at the end so the foundation that i'm using is called pure bear it all it's a 12 hour four in one foundation it's skin perfecting foundation they have a bunch of different shades which i really like i hope that they continue to add more shades into their collection so people in between can use them as well directions on here say to use skin perfecting foundation brush which is this right here and um yeah just to apply it so i'm excited so it said to actually put it directly on the foundation brush and then apply it but i rarely do that so I don't know if I want to do that, but I'll just apply it to my hand to warm it up. It smells very nice, very fresh. If you're not into scented foundation, do not get this one. I've already exfoliated and I filled up my brows lightly, not too much. I just kind of didn't want to have blank brows. So I guess you just go in. It's, it's kind of dark, but I think it'll match my body, so we'll see. You make me so insane. The brush is very, very soft, I will say that. For the other side of my face, I'm going to go in with a beauty sponge. Most people will use the beauty sponge if you don't want to use a brush. So I'm just going to add a little bit more to the back of my hand. I think I like the brush a little bit more in application. I have some discoloration on my face. I just get a nice flawless finish using the brush than I do using the sponge. Yeah, I'm a fan of these brushes for sure. Now I'm going to apply like a little bronzer around my face. I'm going to use their same one, but I'm just going to use a deeper color. This is called Deeper. The brush also isn't removing any of the base that I laid down, so that's nice. I cannot find my concealer, so I'm just going to use the same thing for under eyes. This is tan. Oh, that blended out nice with my finger, though. It doesn't look too heavy and it still looks very hydrated. I am going to further define my jawline with a little bit of this powder. I do rest my head, so I want to set that at least. Not a lot though. Okay, so I've been letting this sit for a little bit and I do notice it's still a little sticky. So I am going to go in with a little powder because when I did that on the outer parts of my face, it didn't give me that feeling. So it definitely does need to set just a tad, not like baking or anything. I'm just going to really lightly go over the areas where I feel sticky. So here, just basically like the T-zone areas. This is the completed look. I really, really, really like this foundation. I didn't have to use so much powder to set my skin. It's still very hydrating. It looks very pretty on my skin. I use the three separate shades for my foundation, contour, and even concealer, which is super nice. Obviously, you don't have to do that, but I really like the way that the coverage came out, and it's very light. It doesn't feel heavy onto my skin, and I didn't have to set it a ton, so that's really nice. That kind of helps 
me uh, reduce the amount of setting powder that I use because Lord knows I use a lot of that. So far, I'm really, really liking it. I think this is a really good step into wearing less foundation and less makeup and it's more good for your skin because it helps with firmness it improves your elasticity it also has agave so it's really good for the skin so so far so good i give it a thumbs up from pure pure is killing it with this i do hope that they add other shades in the line i hope that this foundation kind of goes out the wall because it's such a really good foundation so far for my oily skin so i'll let you guys know how i feel about it eventually down the line but so far just know i really do like it i hope you enjoyed this video if you did hit that thumbs up button make sure that you subscribe check out kalelagunero.com i have a bunch of fun things on there services if you want to know how to edit like I do or take pictures like I do. I have some classes that I put up on my website so I will link it down below for you to check out. I also have a social media course that I launched as well so if you want to see all of that open up the description box. Everything will be down there. Thank you so much for taking time to watch this video. I love you alphas and I'll see you in my next one. Bye! -bye.